This is San Diego News Daily. Hello and welcome to San Diego News Daily. I'm Audra Stafford. While well, we've all been feeling it and this heat wave is bringing triple digits across San Diego County this weekend, but people in the East County still found some ways to enjoy their weekend. Some families drove out to Julian yesterday to spend time camping while others braved the heat and took a hike at Three Sisters Falls. The heat doesn't bother me at all here. Yeah, this is cool. This is a winner. <laughs> Coincidence. We didn't even know it closed. This is my first time here. I didn't know it was going to be this hot. Honestly. Well, the U.S. Forest Service reopened Three Sisters Falls despite the heat. They say as long as people make good decisions like drinking water and wearing proper clothing, some trails should stay open. During heat waves like this, though, health experts say people who live un in underserved communities are the most at risk for heat related illness. As NBC 7's Dana Williams explains, those communities include the same people who dealt with the devastating flooding back in January. Now they're at risk of another climate danger. It's the same zip codes that are historically underserved and during the winter we saw what devastation that lack of resources caused. Now the focus is turned toward extreme heat, but the hope is that the solutions can help address both. You say, well, you know, I have the fans and where do you go? Do I go to the libraries where there is a ice zone where you can be like cool? But sometimes, you know, you have to walk or, you know, you have to take the public transportation and say, well, maybe I stay here. Beba Zarate has lived in the Shelltown neighborhood for 25 years. She feels like with each new one, it's getting hotter. And she's right. Last year was the hottest year on record in the United States. We try to keep doors closed, try to get windows closed and get on all the fans that we have. But what they don't have is all of their furniture, more than two plates to eat off of or even finished walls. Either or you say, well, do I review and start kind of working on what the things have to get done to have a, a safe place to be and sleep and stay with my family? Or I do think of to get an ice, an IC for the family. You can be cool and everything, but what about if you don't have a room for your family to be safe. Biba is not alone. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released data that connects heat in specific areas to health risks. And we took those numbers and created an interactive map on NBC7.com for you to check your zip code. Biba's zip code and the ones around her are considered extremely high risk because of certain factors. Those include the average age in the area, income level, and environmental aspects like how many trees are nearby. The city of San Diego has their own version of this research called the Urban Heat Vulnerability Index. When we look at the factors that increase risk to flooding, um, some of those factors are the same that are increasing risk to extreme heat. Um, these are communities that we know need um, more investment and the city is working to make sure that we are prioritizing them. Julia Chase is the city's chief resilience officer. She says the path forward is about finding sustainable solutions for those communities that will not only help prevent future flooding, they will also help prevent future heat illness or even death. So things like green infrastructure that might help absorb or slow those floodwaters, but will also help keep communities cool because you're adding that green space component. Dana Williams. If you're looking to beat the heat and stay cool, the county has set up cool zones at libraries and community centers. They were created two decades ago to give older adults, people with disabilities and people with health concerns, a safe air conditioning air conditioned shelter to escape the extreme heat. The program runs through October 31st. We have a full list of where you can find them on our website, NBC7.com. And NBC7 meteorologist Angelica Campos will have a look at your weather and how soon we might cool off coming up right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20. Weather coverage you count on. You count on accuracy. The winds are going to be increasing. You count on these experts. Take a look here at our future weather. In two languages. You count on innovative tech. Look at our first alert Doppler radar. From a team you depend on. Dry conditions to round out this week. You count on early warnings. The tornado warning for parts of East County. Because you know every second counts. It just kept getting worse and worse. This is first alert weather. This is coverage you count on. Only on NBC7 and Telemundo 20. And the heat continues at the coast. It'll peak today. Tomorrow is still hot, but today will be the hottest. Inland communities could see record heat and a chance for thunderstorms, but 
but the best chances will be in our mountains and deserts. As we look at the potential for records today, Ramona Escondido Alpine with the best chances, but it'll be close to it. Also in San Diego, the record for today, 100 temperatures will be in the mid 90s. With this kind of heat, it is dangerous to be outside and in inside when there's no AC. So a good idea to find those cooling center centers. Here's uh, some of the signs to look for given the conditions we have endured for the last couple of days and a day like today. It is uh, very important to stay safe. Stay inside where there's air conditioning near the coast. Even near the water is going to be warm today in the low to mid 80s. A heat advisory will stay in effect until Monday evening. Excessive heat warning until Monday evening as well with temperatures today in the triple digits. So very hot, not a good day to go for a hike. High pressure is the reason behind all this heat. It is very strong and it will continue to keep us above average for the next couple of days. On Wednesday, a trough develops up to the north and that's going to bring some cooler weather. It'll change the entire pattern and that means we go back to near normal, but it's going to take a couple of days. So if we compare the numbers from today, tomorrow to Tuesday, you can see we drop about 10 degrees in just a couple of days, but that's not enough. We need to see those numbers going down another 10 to 15 degrees before we go back to near normal. This afternoon, 102 Alpine, 91 Pine Valley, 86 to about 94 degrees from the coast uh, in Oceanside to the airport, so very big difference just a few miles away. Overnight lows will be in the 70s, so just when you're hoping to open up windows and let that breeze in, there's really not much of a breeze, and that's going to be true also for tonight. Well, our campaign for Clear the Shelters continue. Make sure to check out Nova Stella. She's available at Escondido Campus, and we'll continue showcasing more animals also through the 10th. Our first alert, 10-day extended forecast, 90s today, tomorrow for the coast. Inland communities are going to stay hot, maybe even a chance for thunderstorms this afternoon. Better chances for thunderstorms will be in the mountains today, and then tomorrow that chance is going to be lower, most likely 10 to 20% at the most. Deserts looking up. Also, thunderstorms and temperatures heating up on Tuesday. So while everybody starts to see a change on Tuesday, the numbers for them will start to go up before they go back down on Thursday and Friday. Those will be the best days of the week. Audra. Thanks, Angelica. Well, we are not the only ones feeling the heat. Just check out how one of the zoo's new giant pandas is trying to stay cool during this week's heat wave. The zoo recently posted this adorable video of Yun Shuan sliding around in a pool. The giant pandas have been living at the zoo for just a little over two months now, and zookeepers say Yun Shuan likes to sleep in and enjoys taking long naps in the afternoon. I, miss, I imagine he'll be taking some extra long ones in this heat. Well, there's much more coverage you can count on at NBC7.com. And of course, you can always find us on your Roku or Samsung Smart TV app. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Audra Stafford.